Hello everyone, I'm Greg Hackett. Um, yesterday I was asked about if Devin Haney and Javante Tank Davis was to actually fight, what would happen? Very interesting fight. I mean, of course it's a fight we all wanna see. I hope I hope it does happen one day. Um, but as of right now, if they fought, I feel like there's advantages and disadvantages on both sides. I mean, if you go just with the uh, tail of the tape, Dev is um, about 5'9", probably almost 5'10", uh, Tank about 5'6". Um, Dev, I mean, they, it's even when they both, they both fought at 140 before, so it's not really a disadvantage in weight. Um, I think Tank, the speed he has comes from his, you know, it's really about his build. Really strong core, you know what I mean? Arms not the longest, but he know how to generate speed and quickness and power, you know what I mean? So the speed, I would say, is somewhat even, but then again, it looks different because Dev has the longer arms. Dev having longer arms makes it easier for him to touch guys um, because he know how to use his arm length. Um, the power, of course, punching power goes to Tank Davis, of course. The skills, we see it on both sides. You know what I mean? It's definitely skill set, a high skill set on both sides. Um, Tank Davis usually uses his skills, though, to lure you in for the knockout. Devin uses his score, skills to win, just to get the win, keep the advantage. The footwork, we've seen great footwork from both fighters. Um, I think Dev is... Is, is very talented on his feet So is Tank um, I feel like It's a lot of Good comparisons to make But really It's a great fight It's hard to It's hard to choose a side In a fight like that From what I've seen With Tank Davis In previous fights um, A lot of people would be like Well gee he get hit a lot You know what I mean He be down on the cars You know stuff like that But for me It's just simply because he not looking to outbox you. He's looking to destroy you. He's looking to hurt you, which could hurt him in a fight with Devin Haney because Devin Haney is looking to outbox you. So I think if they fought right now, Tank Davis would have to up the tempo from the very beginning, from the first round, from the first bell. He got to jump right on the gas and apply pressure. But with applying pressure, as we saw in the last fight with Haney and Regis, Haney is a hell of a counter puncher. So Tank, I have to be careful, but I do believe Tank is a lot faster than uh, Regis Progray. You know what I mean? Almost the same, they probably about to run the same height. Might be a little shorter, I don't know. You know what I mean, I never seen Regis in person, but you know what I mean? I know Tank does well for his height. You know what I mean? When it comes to staying away from certain shots. Tank doing, to me, guys getting hit with jabs and little right hands, like little short right hands, scoring right hands, don't do as much damage as getting caught with like big uppercuts and big hooks and shit like that. And you don't really see Tank get with hit, hit with them kind of shots. But he do get jabbed at times and he do get hit with short right hands and shit like that. Um, but I think the speed of Tank will give Devin problems. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I think the speed of Devin and the arm length and the height will give Tank problems. The the thing is, Tank carries the same thing just like Deontay Wilder. He can knock you out in any round. You know what I mean? He, he can hurt you at any point. Dev will have to be alert and be on point for 12 rounds straight, which we've seen him do. We know he can do, but that would be the real task. Now, the task for Tank is to try to keep from getting out box. You know what I mean? If he can keep from getting out box, he can get inside, touch the body, he can find success. But if Devin is able to keep him on the outside and, you know, work off of his angles, it'd be, it would be an interesting fight. You know what I mean? Again, I can't pick a winner. It's a great fight. I can't lie. The performances both young men been putting on has been, you know, phenomenal. They've been doing their thing. So I can't take away from either fighter. But the comparison is real interesting. Um, I, I would definitely like to see that fight, for sure. I hope that fight happen. It would be a big fight. Of course, it'll be pay-per-view. 
I mean, both guys will make some good money. It'll be great money. But, you know, it'll be one for the ages because we not wait until they 35 and 40 years old. Shit like that. You know what I mean? But I don't know. That's a very interesting fight, man. Jab, uh, Devin got a hell of a jab. We know that Tank's a hell of a counter puncher, but with power. He's sneaky left uppercut. I think Devin have to watch out for that. You know what I mean? And Tink, I have to time that jab. He had to try his best to time that jab. Real interesting matchup, man. I hope we get that fight one day. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'm Greg Hacker. You can get with me at Greg Hacker 86 on Instagram. Greg Hacker 215 on X, a.k.a. Twitter. Greg Hacker on Facebook. I appreciate y'all. Thank you.